So in the previous video we introduced Riccati's equation. In this video we're just going to develop the basic solution method for our Riccati equation and then in subsequent videos we'll show examples of working through Riccati equations. We'll show some concrete examples. So Riccati equation that we introduced in the previous video has the form dy dx equals p of x plus q of xy plus r of xy squared. And the idea behind a Riccati equation is we need, we need to have a, a differential equation of this form and we need to know a particular solution of the equation. In other words, either uh, by guessing or some other means, we need to have found a function of x that solves the differential equation, a particular solution. And then what we want to do then is build the general solution from that particular solution. And to do it, we're going to make the substitution y equals uh, y sub 1 plus u, where u is any function of x. And the idea is if we make the substitution, we can then manipulate and reduce the Riccati equation into a Bernoulli equation, which we saw in the previous homework assignment. And we know if we have a Bernoulli equation, we can make the substitution w equals y to the 1 minus n and then reduce it into a uh, an equation uh, uh, that's a linear first uh, first degree linear differential equation that can be solved using an integrating factor so it's a two step process Riccati via a substitution can be reduced to a Bernoulli and a Bernoulli via a substitution can be reduced to a linear first degree differential equation and we can use an integrating factor to solve it so if we were doing this, uh, here's kind of how you work through the solution process. Let's say we start with our dy dx. And then to save ourselves some pain of writing the of x, the function notation repeatedly, let's drop the function notation and just say this is p plus q times y plus r times y squared. And we're letting y sub 1 be any particular solution of the differential equation, either that we're given or that we find ourselves via some guess guessing process. Sometimes it's sometimes it's actually not too hard to guess a specific solution. And then if we have a Riccati's equation, then we can then build um, the general solution from that. So if if y sub one is a solution for Riccati's equation then it has to satisfy Riccati's equation when we plug in y sub 1 and its derivatives. In other words, if we take y sub 1 and dy sub 1 dx, the derivative of y sub 1, when we plug it into the Riccati equation, it should satisfy it. So in other words, dy sub 1 over dx right here should equal p plus q times y sub 1, q times the function that you plug in, plus r times y sub 1 squared. Um, this should be true. If y sub 1 is a solution for the Riccati equation, then this must actually must be true. dy sub 1 dx must equal p plus qy sub 1 plus r times y sub 1 squared. And then if we make the substitution, y equals y sub 1 plus u, that would tell us that dy dx, take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, is going to equal d y sub 1 dx, the derivative of this with respect to x, plus du dx, the derivative of u with respect to x. So now we can go over here and make some substitutions. I can replace the dy dx with dy sub 1 dx plus the du dx equals p plus q times y but we're making the substitution y equals the particular solution we know plus some function of x u plus r times and then we need uh, we need to replace this y with our substitution y sub 1 plus u and this needs to be squared so on the right hand side there's some simplifying to do. So I get p plus q times y sub 1 by distribution plus q times u plus r times square out this uh, sum of two functions. So we would get y sub 1 squared 
plus 2y sub 1u plus a u squared. And then what you want to do is group everything that has a y sub 1 in it. So if I do p plus q y sub 1 plus here I distribute the r into the parentheses, I get r times y sub 1 squared. So we get r times y sub 1 squared plus, and now there's going to be some stuff with a, with just linear u's in it. There's going to be a q u plus r times 2 y sub 1 u plus, and then there's going to be a squared u, r times u squared is just r u squared. And the idea is, when we look at this carefully, we get some stuff that cancels for us. So we have du dx here. So over here we said, hey, if y1 is a solution, then we need to be able to plug y sub 1 and its derivative into the Riccati equation, and it needs to give us an identity. So dy sub 1 dx is p plus qy sub 1 plus r times y sub 1 squared. dy sub 1 dx is the same as this. So if we subtract dy, uh, dy sub 1 dx from both sides, we'll be left with du dx on the left hand side and on this side this will go away because this is the same as dy sub 1 dx. And that's going to leave us with some stuff here. We have a du dx equaling and the stuff with the u factor the u out. So we get q plus r times 2y sub 1 u plus the r u squared and then subtract the linear u stuff from both sides. So you get du dx minus parentheses q plus r times 2y sub 1 u equaling r u squared. And what we want to do is look at this and recognize now I have a Bernoulli equation. It has the form um, du dx plus p of x y times f of x y to the n where uh, u is playing the role of y in this case. So right here there's our dy dx term or equivalent of our dy dx. Here we have the p of x is equaling the negative q plus r times 2y sub 1 and uh, the u to the u squared term has the r on it, so r here is playing the role of f of x in the Bernoulli equation. So this is just a Bernoulli equation in, uh, in u. So, so if we have a Bernoulli equation, we can think what was our technique for solving a Bernoulli equation. Well, the technique that we employed for solving a Ber Bernoulli equation was to multiply both sides by uh, our variable to the opposite of the exponent. So you multiply both sides times a u to the negative 2 and that's going to leave us with just an r on the right hand side and we wind up with a du dx times u to the negative 2 sitting here. u to the negative 2 times du dx and then we get minus and we have our q plus 2ry sub 1 and then we multiply u to the negative 2 times u we get u to the negative 1. So that's just multiplying both sides of the Bernoulli equation by u to the negative 2. And then once we get it in this form we make we linearized it in the previous homework we linearized it by making the substitution let linear w equal the uh, usually it was a y to a power but here it's u to a power which is fine variable names are arbitrary so let w equal uh, u to the negative one and then we took the derivative of both sides dw uh, d du equals the derivative of this with respect to u is negative u to the negative two but we needed dw dx, so we multiply by du dx. Take the derivative of this u with respect to x, there's our du dx. So that tells us that dw du multiply both sides by a negative. The opposite of dw du equals u to the negative 2 times du dx. 
And so now, we've, now we can make our substitutions. We substitute uh, for u to the negative 2 du dx, we substitute minus dw du. So we wind up with minus dw du minus q plus 2r y sub 1. And we're making the substitution w equals u to the negative 1. That linearizes it equals. And what do we equal? We equal r. And then we can multiply both sides by a negative to clean this up. And now we have a first order linear differential equation with this term right here playing the role of p of x and this is playing the role q of x. So we're able to solve it using an integrating factor. We would let e, we would let uh, I'll call it u sub 2 because I already used a u substitution once. So our integrating factor u sub 2 would be e to the antiderivative of p of x dx, but our p of x is going to look like q plus twice r y sub 1 dx. And then we would go from there kind of dot, dot, dot. So that's the uh, basic solution method for a Riccati equation. Again, the idea is make an appropriate, you need to know a particular solution you need to make this substitution. The substituting correctly will reduce you to a Bernoulli equation every time. And a Bernoulli equation via an appropriate substitution can be converted uh, into a first order linear differential equation which we can solve using an integrating factor.